Hi, welcome in this new video showing how to do Bing modeling in FreeCAD. In this one, uh, we are going to make 2D views of our models. Uh, there are in FreeCAD several ways to do that, uh, like to make plan views and sections and elevations of, of your model. Um, I'm going to use to show one in this video and another one in another video. So in both cases, what I'm doing here, you see I selected my building and created a section plane. Um, when I have selected objects before uh, doing making the section view, uh, it will automatically encompass that selected object. Um, that section plane has little arrows that show its direction. Um, and you see it's a bit low. That's where it got placed automatically. I'm going to place it a bit higher, more or less at I8. And OK, now this looks correct. You see that if you double click it, you see the objects that it is seeing. In FreeCAD, uh, the section plane only sees the objects that it's meant to see, not everything in, in the scene. And so it can be used with the tech draw and with this shape to the view that I'm going to use now. That are the two ways to use sections in section planes in FreeCAD. So yeah, I use the 2D view tool, which basically produce an object in the 3D view that is a flat view of what the section plane sees. I'm moving it a little bit outside of the plane so we can see it better. Um, and it's basically a projection of what the section plane cuts and sees. It's just a, a section and uh, you see it's quite precise. You see that these things here, um, we have this option to fuse all walls and structures together. Uh, if I set this to true, you see that the walls are correctly unioned together. And this object is like is is a section and it's also viewing. I would like to have the, the cut lines a little bit uh, thicker. So I'm copying and pasting it at the same place. So now I have two objects exactly identical. And I've been changing a couple of things. And the second one um, in place to false because I don't want it to be at the exact place where it got cut which would be on the section plane I want it to stay here and I change its mode to cut face and what it does it, it fills the cut parts with faces so this is quite cool it gives a quite nice um, view of what is cut is filled, what is viewed is just lines. And if we put the line width of what's cut a little bit thicker, this is becoming really nice. And now we have a quite nice view. If I put this to wireframe, I have a really classical view. And those are two objects actually, one that is viewed and one that is cut. You see only by changing the, the, this parameter. So this is quite nice. It gives a really, really precise uh, drawing. And um, this is actually what we are going to work on. We're just, I will put it back. And you see that those are like flat objects inside the 3D view. And this is what we are going to export to DXF. I'm going, going to put some dimensions here. The dimension tool works quite simply. You just click three points, two for the, 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 the measured uh, distance and the third one where the dimension must pass. If you press shift, you make an horizontal or vertical dimension 
but you can also fix that after the dimension is created. Okay, these dimensions are pretty much configurable. See the row size is configurable, the text size, the spacing between the text and the line, and you can, you, it's made to show the unit you're working in, but you can override that, and you can say you don't want to see the unit. So it's pretty pretty conf configurable and all these things live in the 3d space you see we now have a couple of objects um, before exporting if you are using version 0 20, uh, 19 you have to make sure you use the legacy exporter and then you select your objects and just export as DXF or DWG. DWG uh, requires an extra program installed, so I'm using DXF, which doesn't require any any extra program installed. And any application that opens DWG also opens DXF, so it's really the same. And I'm going to open it now in draft site. And here it is. You see, this important notice that draft size won't be free anymore, so we have to rush to make 2D in FreeCAD better before the end of the year, I guess. These are dimensions. We don't see the text because it came with the standard with the standard style of draft site. So let's fix that just to show you that what comes from FreeCAD is quite easy to, to fix and to tweak. Of course it's in millimeter because it's what FreeCAD exports if you don't set in the preferences uh, scale factor. But many applications do the same, uh, ArchiCAD for example. But we can easily tweak the dimensions to show meters and to display the way we want. There is actually one group, one block object made for each shape to the view in FreeCAD. So it's pretty easy to change settings like, for example, the color or the line style or I oh, guess. It's quite easy to, to tweak, actually. You have a few objects and they are pretty much configurable. So in a couple of seconds, you basically get back to the same aspect that you want. I create, just created a new dimension here and I can do the same as I did on the other. I can use the match tool so it's quite easy to take it from there, actually. Um, that's, at the moment, uh, the quickest way to work with 2D in, in FreeCAD. Uh, is basically, at some point, you export it and you finish the work in another 2D application. Um, that's one very quick way to work and that integrates quite uh, nicely in your existing workflow. Uh, so you can begin to introduce FreeCAD uh, little by little and continue to work uh, in 2D. Uh, you see that this is the standard uh, dimension style. So if I had imported uh, this FreeCAD file inside a file where this standard style were defined already, we would already have our dimensions that appear with the correct size. And that's it for this one.